This is a no judgment zone. You've probably heard someone say that in a small group or a support group or maybe in a counseling session. I like that phrase, a no judgment zone. It means you can just be who you are. You can think what you want to think. You can say what you want to say without fear of condemnation. Welcome to the fifth devotion in the Pandemic Ponderings series. Today we will, we will ponder truths about Jesus and Pontius Pilate and ourselves. In our scripture today, Jesus finds himself in the ultimate judgment zone. We will read our passage from Mark chapter 15, 1 through 5 and then verse 15. As soon as it was morning, and this was Friday morning, what we call Good Friday, the chief priest held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered them, You say so. Then the chief priest accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Pontius Pilate is doing the religious leaders a favor in hopes that they will do him a favor later on. You see, he really doesn't care about this little rabbi from an, an obscure village, but he does care about his role and his political position. And just a few months before this Friday morning, just a few months before, he had had a run-in with the religious leaders of Jerusalem. And they secured the help of Herod to write an embarrassing letter about Pilate's behavior to the emperor. And the emperor slapped Pilate's hand, and Pilate did not want that to happen again. So he took the case on. Here are some things for us to ponder. First, about Jesus. At the first question, Jesus gives an answer, and depending on your translation, it may seem to be a bold answer or an evasive answer. The New International Version reads, Yes, it is as you say, when Pilate asked, Are you king of the Jews? In the New Revised Standard Version, which I read, it says, You say so. Either way, Jesus could have said much more, right? Jesus could have said something like, Look, buddy, I'm not just king of the Jews. I am king of kings. I am lord of lords. Jesus could have put Pilate in his place, saying something like, After tonight, I'm going to be worshipped forever, and your name will be forgotten, except for a little phrase in a creed that will be repeated by my worshipers every Sunday. Pilate asked other questions, but Jesus made no reply. Indeed, in Mark's Gospel, Jesus does not speak again until he speaks from the cross. Why doesn't Jesus speak up? Why doesn't he defend himself? Maybe because it was not really Jesus who was on trial. Maybe it was his friends and his religious leaders and his political leaders who were really on trial. Jesus's, uh, Judas's betrayal, Peter's denial, Pilate's abdication, all of their words and actions proved who they were. Jesus felt no need to prove who he was. How about, about 
Pilate. Pilate was concerned about Pilate. He was willing to say and do anything to compromise in any way, whatever it took, to stay in power. You see, that's the way politicians were back in those days. That leads us to ourselves. Are we that far from Pilate? Don't we also put ourselves first? Don't we have contempt for anyone who stands in our way to keep us from what we want or what we think we deserve? Don't we brush aside Jesus and his teachings when they contradict how we want to live, how much we want to consume, how we feel about outsiders. Thus, we need a cross. False, these uh, attitudes must die. Evil behaviors must die. Our self-centeredness must die. Jesus is not speaking words of condemnation here. We condemn ourselves on our own by our words and our behaviors. May God have mercy on us. Fortunately, that's what Lent and Easter are all about. Lord, forgive us for thinking only of us. In Christ's name, 